welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to switch up and deviate for what I usually do. Um, Y'all know I usually just do tutorials and that's kind of it, or maybe some reviews, but it always is accompanied with a tutorial for the most part. So um, I wanted to deviate from that and do something a little more different. So I decided to get together my top favorite recent like beauty finds, things that may I may have already had or things that I may have just recently bought that, um, I've really been enjoying a lot and have been like staples that I have been using a lot and it is just kind of some recent things that yeah I've just kind of fell in love with whether it was you know I had it before and I just never used it and I recently fell back in love with it or it might be just something new so I hope you guys enjoy this style of video and let's just get into my new finds so the first thing and my number one thing and my most kind of like surprising thing is this bad boy right here. I did use this recently in a tutorial. It is the MAC Mineralized Blush in the shade Humor Me. Usually mineralized blushes are shimmery. So MAC came out with a whole line of like matte mineral blushes that came out since I've been on maternity leave. So I've never really had a chance to use them or try them on or anything. When I was in my store the other day, um, I saw them and I was getting some other stuff anyway, so I was just kind of swatching and I recalled that uh, someone I follow, Jen Hub, which I mentioned in one of my last videos when I used this for the first time, she um, mentioned this, so I decided to get this one and it is like amazing, sickening. This is fall blush, like to a T, like the most amazing blush for fall. It is such a beautiful color. It is very warm. It is like a nice warm neutral and this is definitely the kind of blush that would literally go with anything like no matter what you're wearing on your eyes, your lips, anywhere. This will go with absolutely everything. So yeah, I really have been enjoying this blush and this is definitely going to be a staple for me going into fall for like an everyday perfect blush. So next is the NYX lip liners. This is something that like I'm surprised I never tried before. Um, I've always heard about them. I've seen so many people use them, but I never personally tried them. And when I went to um, I went to the exchange, I live in a military base. The exchange is kind of like a little department store on a military base. And they have a whole cosmetic section. They have basically it's like a department store and they have a whole section of drugstore makeup. And while I was in there just kind of wasting time, um, I saw the next liners and I was like, why not? Like, whatever, I'll just give them a shot. And they're so good, like they're amazing. So I got three shades. Um, I got the shades Nude Beige, Natural, Natural, and what is this one pale pink and all three of them are absolutely stunning the formula is amazing they stay on really well um, the pigmentation is great they glide really nice they're not like super dry or anything and they actually do wear for a really long time so this is something that when I tried it I was like wow like this is so good for such a great price so I'm very very happy with these and I'm excited to continue to wear these um, because they're like three variations for me of like a perfect nude lip that I like to do um, I'm absolutely obsessed with these the next thing I'm going to talk about is probably not surprising and you're probably guys are probably like over it by now, but it is the Makeup Revolution Emily Edit the Wands palette. I took this with me when I went on vacation a couple weeks ago and this was like the only eyeshadow I brought and I was able to do so many different looks with this palette just because of the absolute amazing range of this palette. And as I said in my review video, this mirror came in handy. Oh, hey. This mirror came super in handy when I was there because I could just prop it up and I had a giant mirror in front of me. So when I did my makeup, I could see everything and it was much easier than using like some little tiny mirror in a travel palette. So this is obviously insane. I did a whole video, which I'm sure you all have seen, um, doing four different looks with this palette already. So if you want to check that out, please do. Um, and yeah, I just, I love it. It is still amazing. I'm still very excited every time I see this palette. I'm still very excited to use this. And I constantly, whenever I come to do my makeup, I constantly grab for this. And this is something that like every day I'm like, I can do something brand new and it's gonna turn out great. So I love this. So next is a beauty sponge that I've had for years, like literally years, and I haven't used it in literally years. And that is the Real Techniques makeup sponge. 
I've had this for so long. I have, I think like one or two more of these. I think though this might be the original one I bought. Don't think I'm gross. I wash these like everything else. Um, but I think this is one of my original ones I've had and it's so good. And I used it because I wanted to use something different than a beauty blender in one of my previous videos. So I was like, I always use a beauty blender. Let me use something different. So I grabbed this and I was like, you know what, whatever. I haven't used this in so long. Let's give it a go. And I like fell back in love with it. It's amazing. So yeah, the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. It's the one that has just the little angle. I think this is the OG one before they came out with it. I know now they have like a million different variations, but this original one is so amazing. Very, very soft and bouncy. And I have newer ones and I don't know if I love the newer ones. I feel like recently I may have used one of the newer versions of this sponge like maybe a year ago and I tried it and I was like, oh, I don't like this, it's too hard, so I didn't use it. This, I'm pretty sure is my original one and I love it so much. So maybe I just got a bad one because I hope not. I hope that like the new ones are still as good as the old one because if the new ones aren't as soft and spongy as nice as the old one, that's really sad. But at any rate, this sponge is absolutely amazing and I'm pretty sure it's only like $5, like $5.99 or $6.99, something like that. Insanely inexpensive for such a nice sponge. So I'm absolutely obsessed and I have fallen back in love with this product and I've started to use it like every single day to put on my foundation. Alrighty, now finally the last product I want to talk about is this MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid. So I've used a couple of them recently in tutorials and um, so I, I do like them all for sure. Um, and in comparing them to the um, Stila ones, I haven't used any of my Stila ones recently. I think it's obviously because I'm really hyped up to use the MAC ones because they're newer colors and everything. Um, but in terms of formulation, I personally don't really see a difference between the two. They both work pretty much exactly the same for me um, in terms of like, you know, the wear time, how pigmented they are, all that kind of stuff. Like they kind of seem exactly the same to me um, in terms of, let's see, the amount. Let's compare here. You get 0.16 ounces in this and you get 0.15 ounces in the Stila one so you get a little bit more in the MAC one um, and the MAC one is I think like four dollars or something cheaper than the Stila one so in terms of just the price and the product this the MAC ones are definitely more like cost efficient which isn't surprising um, MAC tends to be on the lower price range of high-end products um, but that aside, they do work kind of the same for me. So, you know, make your own decisions with that. Um, but in particular, I wanted to talk about this shade. This is the shade Diamond Crumbles. And as with everything I've said, I think in this video, I'm obsessed. Like this color is so unique and beautiful. It is a beautiful kind of translucent glitter topper kind of one. So this isn't one that's gonna be like super opaque. It's more like a glitter topper with a very uh, sheer base color. But it's this amazing duochrome. It's got like a pink and purpley blue duochrome, which you can see in the tube when you look at it. But then it also has holographic multicolored glitter in it. So there's a lot going on, but this is like mermaid fantasy. Like all your mermaid fantasies realized in this one color. It's amazing and I'm absolutely in love with it. On top of eyeshadows, this like, I've used this a couple times in like more neutral looks, but I'm just imagining like the most amazing dark purple, like grapey, smoky eye for fall. And then this shade, hella intense, like maybe layer it two times just on the inner corner of the eye. Like imagine that, like this amazing blown out dark purple eye with this intense strong hit of like holographic purpley bluey pink goodness on the inner corner. Like that's what I'm imagining and I love it. So yeah, this hands down is probably one of my favorite colors from the whole line. I think it's really unique and um, yeah, I just really love it. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you found this video interesting and different and kind of helped you maybe be inspired to get something different or kind of go back into your own collection and find some things to fall back in love with. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.